Hi guys, for sure it's been a very interesting 24 hours. If you uh, are following me on Twitter or Instagram, you will know what has happened. If you're not, then um, you'll be like, well, grab me what's going on. You uploaded yesterday. And so this video is going to be uh, actually one of the very important videos I've actually ever made because there's actually not a lot of um, stuff or like help with this issue on uh, YouTube. And so I wanted to make this just to explain to you guys what happened to me in the last 24 hours and um, how, you know, to go about it and what to be aware of. And hopefully if this ever does happen to you that you can, uh, you know, uh, maybe come back and watch this video or find something on YouTube and be able to take some um, take some relief that, you know, it's happened to other people and 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 just raise awareness for it as well. So uh I don't want to make this video too long, so let's just get right into it. Um, yesterday, I uploaded a video about Dale Hart Jr., obviously, that you guys saw, and that was uploaded around 4 p.m. Now, at 4.10 p.m. Eastern, exactly right around there, um, I was hacked. My, my uh, Gmail account was hacked, and so the way YouTube works now is it's, it's not like you make a YouTube account. You make a Gmail. You make a Google account, and the Google account is linked to your YouTube account. So... One, my, once my Gmail account was hacked, I lost all access to, uh, you know, the the YouTube account because Real Radman um, is on there and I, I had absolutely no access to it. Uh, at the moment that I was hacked, uh, the hacker changed um, the recovery email and the recovery phone number, added a security key, added digital backup codes, uh, and so he tried to basically lock down the, uh, the account. And at the moment when I found out, I, I happened at 4, 10 p.m. Eastern. And the reason I know that is because I was on YouTube on my desktop and uh, I had my Gmail open on the other monitor and it logged me out of both at the same exact time. Um, I then go on my phone and I can't sign into my Gmail. And that's when I know something was definitely wrong. I try signing in and then it says my password was changed uh, about an hour ago, you know, or less than an hour ago. So the password was just changed. So I knew at that moment I was definitely hacked um, and I've lost my account. So as you can imagine, I am freaking out because I've never been hacked like this. Never. Uh, this has never happened. Uh, the only other time I've had an issue with my YouTube channel is um, I think people had issues with it before when it's on YouTube side when it comes to demonetization, right? Like your channel could be demonetized for absolutely no reason. Um, that was an issue, I think, a few years ago. And uh, a lot of people had that issue and so that's the only time I've ever had to actually contact the team YouTube Twitter account. I've never been hacked before. Not like this. This was a full ha a hack. And so as I'm freaking out, I have no idea what to do. And I get the message out on Twitter. So I tell people on Twitter, hey, guys, I have been hacked. Um, please keep an eye on my channel because uh, I have no control over it. I don't know if the hacker is going to delete videos or, you know, delete the channel. I don't know what's going to happen. So just keep an eye on it. And I was keeping an eye on it. And I actually, you know, had to like go through the YouTube search bar because I wasn't logged into any account. I had to like go through the search bar, find my channel and just keep checking on it to see if it was. So I told my Patreon members in the Discord, you know, what's going on. I told everyone on Twitter what is going on. I basically was trying to sign back in my account. I went over um, and, and you know, I had some some help uh, from my girlfriend and, and tried to use her phone to try to get back into my phone because there was like scanning QR codes and everything and nothing was working. I then, uh, luckily from my sister, she sent me a Reddit post where someone said they lost their YouTube account, it got hacked, and it took 17 days to recover. And essentially what they did is they tried every avenue to try to get through Google Help and something, and none of that was working. The only thing they could do was contact the Team YouTube account. And I remembered the Team YouTube account from previous times I've had to contact them about, um, you know, having an issue with my YouTube account. And I was like, well, this isn't really my YouTube account. This is my Gmail, but you know, let's give it a shot. So I, I contact team YouTube and thank you guys for your help as well. The subscribers on Twitter, um, on Instagram, uh, for all you guys that watch, you guys were spamming team YouTube as well. Thank you to the Patreon members who were spamming team YouTube. All you guys helped uh, a lot because you guys helped get the, the message out there and the team YouTube account, uh, was able to DM me. And then we went from there. Um, at this moment, I have no control whatsoever over my 
email and my YouTube account. So the email is linked not just to the YouTube account. The email is linked to, to Google AdSense, which is how I get paid via YouTube. It's linked to like my TV. My TV is signed in on on Gmail. So basically anything that 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 um, the real Radman Gmail was being uh, used on, the hacker had access to, which was very frustrating. Um, and it was actually quite scary because I didn't know what was going on. Team YouTube account, you know, is is working on this. And uh, a few hours later, um, I'm able to fill out basically a form uh, trying to recover my account. And I, you can't recover your account because when the hacker changes the recovery phone number and the recovery email and everything else, when you try to recover your email, there's no method. There's nothing you can text. There's nothing you can email. There's nothing you can do because they have already changed every form of recovery. So Google just says, we can't verify that this is your email. Uh, now, one of the biggest issues and why I'm making this video is because I was freaking out. And when it comes to like Google, there's not really like a customer service thing you can call or anything like that. You have to go through the forums and figure this out. The best bet, honestly, if this ever happens to you guys is going to team YouTube on Twitter and just trying to get their attention as much as possible because that's the only like actual person that you can talk to that might actually lead you to the right direction there's no like customer service for google. google's a massive company there's no customer service for it so um that was very very annoying but you want to go to team youtube i was able to fill out the the form um and i thought it would take two to three days for them to respond they responded at 9 30 p.m last night so it only took them about two and a half hours from when i filled out the form to respond uh and by 1 a.m uh of last night slash this morning I had my email back and I was able to sign into my email, which meant I could sign into my YouTube account and I had my YouTube account back under control all in the span. It took about what, uh, seven hours from the time that I was hacked to the time I was able to get my YouTube account back. Um, I also want to, uh, give a massive shout out to innocent K Boateng. Um, he is a YouTuber with 51,000 subscribers and he had a, a video called how I recovered my hacked Google account and YouTube channel in 48 hours. And what happened to him is exactly what happened to me. So massive thank you to him for making that because, um, one, once I found that video and I was like, okay, that's exactly what happened to me. So now I want to explain this to you guys in case this ever happens to you to please, please, please be careful. I am very usually um, aware of phishing, spamming, uh, you know, downloading uh, virus files, stuff like that. I'm, I'm very aware of it. I'm not stupid. And I know um, what is like a spam, what's uh, what's a virus and stuff like that. Yesterday morning in the morning, like 9 a.m., I got I get an email from um, uh, and I get these emails all the time. Uh, I get like advertising opportunities. Hey, we want to do this on your channel. We want to do that on your channel. And a lot of them I don't, I don't say yes to because it's like random Amazon products or something really random from here, or something random from there. And it's, I just don't want to do it. Uh, so the way this email is crafted, it looks legit. looks like it's from a brand. Everything looks normal. And you can tell usually when something is a spam email and when something is like a legit email. So everything looks normal. I go through the checks. Everything looks good. There is one mistake I made. And um, obviously it was just that they didn't, uh, they didn't refer to my name. That's the biggest thing. They classified it as uh, a content creator or a YouTuber, but they did not refer to my name. Uh, and for some reason in my mind, I was like, oh, maybe they're contacting multiple people. Um, now, usually when you get these broadcast or advertising campaigns, it's like, hello, real Radman or hello, you know, to, to whoever. And um, that's how it is. So that was the one uh, glaring mistake I, I made there. But the email looked legit and it was from a branded company um, called Aquapana. Aquapana. It's an Italian water brand company. And I looked it up and it was legit, like legit brand, legit everything. And I was like, okay, so this, everything seems like it, it, it passes here. I send an email back saying like, yeah, I'm interested. What do you want to do? And they send, they send another one and they say, okay, so we want to advertise this commercial. We'll offer you this amount of money um, and this, this, and this. And, you know, here's the, the, the contract and everything like that. And it looked, everything looks fine. Everything looked normal and, and it didn't look like a spam. This is where they are extremely clever. And I want you guys to be very careful of this. Uh, there was, uh, this issue going on on discord, apparently a year ago where people were offering free games and stuff like that. I did not know about that. And this is not what happened to me here. This was a, 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 a hacking attempt attempt disguised as an advertising opportunity. So it wasn't giving a free game. They send over a media kit. 
And I've downloaded media kits before when I work with gaming companies, whether it be like Monster Energy Supercross, whether it be for the NASCAR Heat Games, whether it be for NASCAR 21 Ignition. You would download the media kit, which would have the PNG files of the logos, cover arts, videos, trailers, whatever you need in order to help you, like, you know, show the game off on your channel. So they disguised it as a media kit. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, it has the picture of the brand. It has a couple of, couple of videos, a couple of stuff I, I can use for uh, advertising the, the the brand. Now, here's where they got me. It was a zip file. It was not, it was a zip file and then it was a PDF file. And so they disguised the contract into a PDF file, but they disguised it as an application, not a PDF file. So it, it shows like Adobe and it shows like PDF, but if you click on it, it doesn't open as a PDF. It opens as a, as a application. It was extremely, extremely clever. Um, I'm sitting on my computer and I'm like, huh, this is a PDF file, but it's trying to open as an application. What the heck is going on? This is around 3.55 p.m. Uh, 15 minutes later is when I get hacked. And in the back of my mind, I was like, did something happen with that advertisement? I didn't think of it at the time, but I was like, did something happen with that advertisement thing? Was was that how I got hacked? What, what happened? Um, and that is how it happened. Once I clicked on that link um, and downloaded it, that's not when I got the virus. It was when I opened the the file and I tried opening the PDF, which was actually an application. It I only found out this about this three hours later. It opened programs on my computer where the hacker was able to take control of my computer in the background and log into my Gmail. Uh, I have two step two-step factor or two-factor authentication for, you know, uh, security reasons. Because the hacker hacked into my trusted device, which is my computer, which a lot of people do when you, this is a trusted device, you do that and, you, you know, you don't have to basically log in every single time. He was able to get around the two-step authentication, so it didn't matter that I had it. I, he, he had a trusted device, so he was, that's how he hacked into my uh, Gmail account, and that is how they changed um, the the email recovery, the phone recovery, and everything like that. So this is how I lost my like my Google account and my YouTube account, and I almost basically lost everything. Like I, at that point, uh, they could have deleted my channel, and maybe you know you don't get it back. And there have been stories on Google and on forums where people get hacked like this, and they never get it back. Like two years going on, they don't get it back. So. I was extremely worried that I lost my entire channel. I lost my full-time job. Like, I, I was extremely worried. Uh, and I am making this video just to let you guys know, you know, this is what happened. Um, and please, please, please be aware that this can happen to you. This was, this was an extremely clever and intelligent way to try to hijack. And according to, um, to uh, the video I watched, uh, you know, he described it as session hijacking. And that's exactly what this is. This is how they get around a two-step authentication. They, this is how they get around the, the security measures. They hack into your device that is a trusted device, and that is how they do it. Um, and they try to do these phishing tactics and everything in a very clever way. So, uh, guys, if you have a YouTube channel, if you have a, a, any normal Gmail account, um, always be careful of, of basically just never, 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 never download any file. Uh, if you are having an advertising brand or an advertising campaign, make sure it goes to Google Drive. Make sure it's a document like a Google Doc or something like that. Make sure – the thing about Google Drive, Google Drive can scan for viruses. This was a zip file, like a WinRAR file, so they could hide viruses in those. Google Drive is a lot safer, so make sure it's something like that. Make sure it's a document. Make sure you uh, – um, are just going through all the precautions of all that because this can happen to anyone it happened to me and uh it was definitely extremely extremely scary i want to give a massive thank you to all you guys who watch who uh helped support me retweeting the tweets uh you know contacting team youtube i want to give a special shout out to eric to danny darian uh jet Michael, uh, a lot of you guys, you know, retweeted my tweet or, um, you know, try to help spread the awareness. Um, so thank you to the NASCAR community, to my fellow NASCAR YouTubers. Thank you guys so much, seriously, for helping me get my account back. Uh, and thank you to YouTube and Google because I didn't get my account back in 48 hours. I got my account back in seven hours. It actually shocked me how fast I got my account back. So thank you to YouTube. Thank you to Google. Thank you to everyone who works there. Um, because 
it, that was crazy. That was crazy how fast it happened. And I think you guys have a major part in that because you guys were spamming Team YouTube trying to help out. And, you know, Eric and Darian and, and Jet and everyone in the NASCAR YouTube community was contacting Team YouTube as well. So thank you guys so much because it's it doesn't make sense. Like, it's crazy to get your account back after it's hacked after, you know, in basically within the same day. Um, definitely very crazy. So... That is what happened to me. Please be careful, guys, when you are, uh, you know, with your accounts, with anything. Be careful. Um, always keep an eye out for these types of things. This is something that has never happened to me before, and it was very, very clever. And they're getting smarter and smarter and try to hijacking your account. Make sure you change your passwords on a regular basis and just keep aware for these things. Um, thank you guys so much as always. Hopefully in the future, uh, if you have gotten hacked or anything like that, this video can help you out in one of the ways that a hacker might be able to get to you. So um, take care of yourselves. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. And by the way, this is a big reason why hopefully you guys follow me on Twitter on and on Instagram. If anything happens like this where I lose my YouTube account, it's very important that I could communicate to you guys on Twitter and on Instagram. Uh, if you want to help the channel directly, Patreon as well. We have a Discord server there, and I was ta talking to them as well, mentioning, you know, just keep an eye on my channel. Here's what's happening. So thank you to everyone uh, within the community for the support and for helping me out. And uh, we are back, baby. We're back. So I'll be uploading again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Uh, and make sure you guys, we are less than 200 subscribers away from 80,000. So now that I've lost my YouTube account for a little bit, got really scared and thought I'd never get it back. We, let's go hit 80,000, please. <laughs> let's, get, let's hit 80,000 and celebrate. Thank you guys so much. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.